Alright guys, today we're gonna do a very special review in my... That's right, some of you are in. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Please stop these. But no, today we're going... There's a couple of you, the two of you, the three of you are saying, Oh, these are great. So today we're gonna do a very special review in my Star Trek Collection. That's right, get over it. My Star Trek Collection. Um, this is the Hot Wheels 150th. Boo! NX Class 01 USS Enterprise from the Star Trek Enterprise series. Cue the music. It's been a long time since I've seen that woman here. It's been a long time. Still grab a beer. I can see that I just poop my pants. Richard said bye-bye Kendall wants to go outside, no, no Kendall, you can't change your mind I brought change of pants No one's here to wipe my eyes Alright guys, this is Star Trek USS uh, Enterprise NX-01 And from what I did post a video uh, the original Hot Wheels TOS Enterprise from the original series. Didn't know these were out, but my friend Newtown Traveler Man 88, a uh, very good guy, check out his videos. But he said um, these were from a Costco exclusive, a three pack. So pretty cool. These are originally from a three pack. Then my friend MJK Toys, after I said, Ooh, these were hard to get, I'm glad I got them. How, he showed me a link to Big Bad Toy Store that they're re-releasing some of these. I could have waited and paid nineteen ninety-five. <laughs> oh well, I'm happy. I got these anyway. Maybe the, the new Hot Wheel release of the TOS Enterprise won't have wonky engine. So maybe the, you know, maybe the new one won't have wonky engines. Wonky engines. All right. So Enterprise. I've been, since I've been doing these Star Trek reviews, I've gone back and watched some few episodes on the Netflix, and um, I do, I was trying to watch DS9, I just, I can't watch that show, it's just, I don't know, it's alright, and I do like the Dominion War episodes, but man, the other ones are hard to watch. So, I wind up watching Enterprise from the beginning, and I'm all up to the fourth season, which the fourth season is the best season, too bad it got cancelled after that. So, pretty nice. Nice detailing on the starship. Can we see that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. I hope it don't have wonky engines. No. God help us if it does. Alright, let's read the back. Ooh. Enterprise NX-01. This was the first Federation starship to bear the Enterprise name. It was launched in 2151, commanded by Jonathan Archer. One of the most important starships in the interstellar history, it was the first index class starship and established Earth as a legitimate interstellar power. It caused a wholesale revolution in the Alpha and Beta Quadrant politics, <sighs> paving the way for the creation of the United Federation of Planets in 10 years. So once again, in this wave, we have the Enterprise D, which I won't get. Because, I want, like I said, and I want these in scale with the Diamond Select. And I want them this a smaller ship. Because the NX-01 up to the movie, um, NCC-1701-A, you know, they're not in scale with, with the B up to the E Enterprise. So that's why I want these smaller ones. So, and then I got this one, the... Um, no, I don't have that one. That is the uh, movie Enterprise from the movies. This is from the 2009, which they will release this year. So I will wait. I'm going to wait on that one. I said no, but since they're re-releasing, I'm going to wait until the movie comes out this year. And then the um, Reliant, which I have. And I have a, the Saratoga coming, which is exactly the same ship, just different name, which is cool. And the Klingon Burr Pro, which I might get. I might get. We'll, we'll see. 
Alright, I'm back. So here we have the Enterprise. No, I'm just kidding. We have the stand. Same typical stand. Nicer than the TOS one. It doesn't look like some kids was chewing on it right there. And then we have the Enterprise. Oh, look at that. Look, no, no. I caught a catfish. Space catfish. So pretty cool. You could tell maybe that these guys from Hot Wheels are more of an Enterprise fan than the original TOS. Look, no. No wonky nauticals. Yay. Beautiful. Look at the detail at the bottom. Look at that, how shiny it is. Um, a little bit of a, instead of a white dome, they put a little greenish tint to it, which is good. Okay. Let's see if the warp uh, impulse engine's on the back. Yeah, they're even painted too. That's cool. Awesome. And nice engine detail. Let's put it on the stand. Beautiful. Look at that. Very cool. Says NX01 Enterprise. The little bit scuffed on the end, on the letter N, N as in November. I like how these nauticals are shiny red. It's pretty cool. And um, no wonky nauticals. It's perfect. Man, they did a good job on this. I can't believe the detailing. You know, even the cargo bay. These are the cargo bays. These yellow things right here. Uh, um, someone pointed out to me those were the cargo bays. On the Diamond Select ones, they didn't even do anything with that. They forgot to put that on there. It's just awesome. I mean, you just can't get up, beat that. This They took the time and the effort and the blue engines. You know, I mean, space catfish here is great. Baby space catfish. Oh, it's, I guess it's too small, so you have to throw it back. But anyway, so and then you have the um, deflector dish there. Well, I'm glad I got this. This is too bad they're not re releasing this. This, is, from what I could tell on Big Bad Toy Story, they're not releasing this one. So I don't know what else to say about this. It's just good. They really. If you were going to get one of these, I would definitely get the NX01. Because that's cool. Let's do a SAS comparison real fast. Alright, here's SAS comparison. And I think these are in scale. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know someone might if I'm not. But, you know, that's cool. I mean, Enterprise with the other Enterprise. Alright, very popular segment on my channel. This is the NX01 Enterprise looking out the window. Alright, we're back. So here we have the Enterprise D and the reason I got these 150s style ships is the um, TOS original Enterprise and the NX01 Enterprise. I got these to be in scale with the D because the D is humongous. I feel like I'm saying a bad word. But here we go. NX01 compared to here. Wow. If you watch my TOS Enterprise, you, you can hear MJK Toys talk about how the D should be in scale with these. So cool. I think that is perfect scale because I think on the TV show, the NX01 only had 80 crew members. And all the size charts I've seen online and all that. I, I would say this would would be in scale. So yes, I'm happy that I have this. Do I recommend getting it? Um, sure. If you want to pay a little bit more. <laughs> but it's a it's hundred times better than this Hot Wheels TOS Enterprise. So yeah, definitely, definitely would recommend the Annex 01. And um, so that is awesome. That I have both, you know, the Art Asylum and the Hot Wheels version. I just can't believe how much detail they put in that thing. And unlike this one here, it's just plain. I mean, like they barely got by. They must, like I said, they must have been Enterprise fans. So yes, I recommend go get them. How would I rate this? Good job. Um, Hot Wheels need to prove my Hot Wheels or Doug of vomit. I definitely say good job, Hot Wheels. They definitely. Definitely did a good job. So, you know, I do have 
one or two more, about two more of these Hot Wheel things to review. And that would probably wrap it up. And, um, I mean, no wonky nauticals. The gold's nice. The silver's nice. Um, the, the nauticals here, they are plastic. But the rest, I think the hole, the, the circular hole is the only thing that's die cast. Everything else is plastic. Not too sure what that is right here. Anyway, I mean, they painted it nice. I mean, it's, it's just cool. They just did a really good job on this. So I definitely recommend go getting it. Let's get one more shot of her. Beautiful. That's what I like. Definitely nice. All right, guys. Stay tuned. My next review will be... Mm -hmm.